Spatula, your host here at All Things Agile. And in this video, I'm answering the question, can you combine Scrum and Kanban? And what does that look like for an Agile team? Kanban comes from Lean. Lean focus is to reduce waste. Kanban focus is on flow efficiency. So we're talking here optimization. Scrum comes from Agile. Agile focus is reducing complexity. Scrum focus is to deliver something of value at the end of every single sprint. So let me state the differences once again to make this clear. In Kanban, the immutable thing is the sequential work. And that being so, we focus on removing all those impediments so that the work is completed one at a time as fast as possible. While in Scrum, the immutable thing is the sprint, the time box holds the key. So we can change a little bit what we are doing within that time box, so long as we have something done by the end of it. So how do we combine both of them? And can we do that? Well, yes, you can to a certain extent. Remembering that they have different focus and that is in itself a contradiction. You can only have one focus. See this camera here? It has one single point of focus. So when you combine Scrum and Kanban, consider the strength of each framework and the specific needs of your team. Let's not talk about absolutes, but take a software team. The nature of their work is emergent. They can create it incrementally. As they go, they discover things, they have insights. And with something like the time box, which is the sprint, you can prevent them from spiraling down and never getting things done. So Scrum lends itself very naturally to software development teams. Now take the help desk team. More often than not, they can organize the, their work into categories and into lists of priority. What that does is that they know which piece of work should be worked first and one at a time sequentially. So Kanban will be lending itself naturally here for these teams. We are not talking absolutes though. So if you were to combine Scrum and Kanban and considering the needs of the team, that is what you look into. Do we need to have something completed at the end of a period of time? So is the focus the time box or the focus is the flow, the guarantee that I can complete one thing at a time. Now let's look at the second part of the question, which is what does it look like to combine Scrum and Kanban? Funny thing is, we already use some of the Kanban principles within Scrum. How so? In at least two ways. One single goal for each sprint, one thing at a time. Even though we may have many tasks to do, you have one goal to accomplish. And within that, you have the focus on removing any impediments that appear along the sprint that prevents you to complete the sprint goal. And the second thing is the board. The Scrum board is just yet another variation of the Kanban board. Every such board is a Kanban board. The little cards, the columns, moving from left to right. I think that's the uh, most worldwide famous item from Kanban. So what else can you add into your Scrum teams from Kanban? My favorites are number one, you can improve that board to do in progress done. That is too simple. And the best that you can do is really use the steps of your team process. So you really know which parts of the process work is stalling and where it goes fast. Like so you can really improve your process. Then the second thing is, I mean, you can visualize everything. I really love that about Kanban. And that means retrospective action items, risks, they can all go on the board or in some sort of dashboard. Now, what it's key, of course, is that you think about the layout because the point is not to get overwhelmed, much to the contrary. You want it to be transparent, actionable, and understandable. Then the number three would be limiting the amount of work in progress, the famous whip. Don't start a bunch of tasks at the same time. Have one person, one task. Honestly, if you can, can people share tasks? Literally, pairing, 
cross-killing, cross-pollinating, and accomplishing more work done faster. If you don't believe pairing can do that, I challenge you to try. And then the fourth thing that you can add from Kanban in your Scrum teams, for me, will be respecting pull instead of push. What that means is that when I am done my work, I make it clear in the board, and then someone else picks that one up. So let me repeat that. I don't just dump work on people when I'm done my part. I signal, hey, I'm done. And now you can pick that up when you are free. So your board should reflect the ability to do that. And if you are a Kanban team, what are the elements of Scrum that you would add to them? I have three favorites. The first is the time box. Parkinson's law states that the work will expand to consume all the time allotted to an activity. So if you give yourself time boxes, um, your work items will be done incrementally. They will be solved in the spirit of experimentation, in the spirit of just enough, done is better than perfect, etc. Two, small cross-functional teams. I'm really big on that. While you can have specialists here and there, what happens when you have specialists is that sometimes people are full of work and others are idle, have nothing to do. So when you have a team, you cross pollinate and then you pair. Not only will work get completed faster, what you are doing is that you're also achieving a fairer division of work among people and you're allowing people to share and grow their skills over time. Three retrospectives. Kanban does have a service review in which you're going to inspect the product and the process, but I'm really talking here about the retrospective piece, the human part of things, how a team bonds together. It's really about the people development part. So that's the sort of thing that only a specific inspection and an intimate conversation will allow the team to have. So how, how the team evolves together as individuals, how they develop trust, how they become a high performing team. While that's not all that you can do to mix Scrum and Kanban for the benefit of your teams, I hope this gives you, gives you an insight on what is possible. Let me know if there's something you're excited about trying with your teams or if you have any other questions on the topic. For this video, I'll stop right here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.